The good member from the 11th, Representative Hackney. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, for criminal law to be effective, it must be updated to match current events and the threats and issues that people are facing. So in a digital age, harassment and stalking becomes cyber harassment and cyber stalking. This bill redefines the definition of cyber harassment and creates the new offense of cyber stalking. With respect to cyber harassment, this bill defines it as the intent to intimidate, harass someone, and removes language about embarrassing someone as unconstitutionally vague. It also allows prosecutors to charge cyber harassment when there's lewd and lascivious language or images or threats. And when defining threats, Madam Speaker, there are, there are new ways to, to discuss it and define it. The threat need not be of a present or imminent. It could be someone in prison or someone who's far away and they can still make a threat. The threat need not be to the individual. It could be to someone in their household or family. And importantly, the threat has introduces the reasonable man standard. It must, a reasonable person standard. The threat must be such that a reasonable person would um, be fearful because of the threat. In addition, this offense is a gross misdemeanor and there are several escalators that turn this gross misdemeanor into a felony. If it is done to a criminal justice participant, someone involved in the criminal justice system or an election official who is doing their job or because they were doing their job, it can be elevated from a gross misdemeanor to a class C felony. With the crime of cyber stalking, Madam Speaker, this is with the intent, this is installing a device to monitor and track someone, again, with the intent to cause fear or with knowledge that the person does not want to be communicated with or contacted or if there is a protective order. Again, this is also a gross misdemeanor, but it does have escalators very similar to cyber harassment. Madam Speaker, we must update criminal law to face the threats and concerns people are facing. And in this situation, even though they're not physical threats, the psychological harm caused by cyber harassment and cyber stalking is something that we should protect Washingtonians from. I urge you to pass this bill.